Hello. 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 Every Rush song. Hello, my fellow Rush fan. Welcome to the greatest podcast ever recorded in Tim's backyard. How long will it take that line to get old? It's not old for me. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, these aren't our uniforms. We uh, we do in case in case these end up on YouTube as videos. We do batch record. We record and hey 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 hey. we don't cuss on this this pod. You can't say you can't say that. Sorry, my fault. I feel like such a batch sometimes. I know. I know. Oh, you did it again. Oh man. Well, thank you for joining us as we, together, you and my two friends and me, as we go through this journey discussing every Rush song. What was the last thing? Nope, that's it. And yep. tonight, today, depending on when you're listening to this, it's obviously night at Tim's house because he's outside and dodging mosquitoes. Yeah. We're going to cover a little ditty. About Jack dying. To oh, no. No? no? No. How did that happen? No. That's my fault. I apologize. Every for that. John Cougar, whatever his last name is, now song. Free will. Free will. I'll choose that one. So <laughs> on talk. Free Will was one of the first, probably the second Rush song I ever heard. That that fateful party so long ago when a friend played the Spirit of Radio and Free Will, and I just decided this is what I want to spend the rest of my life listening to. Which party was this? And then you probably discussed I it. Don't remember anything before 2013, mm. other than than that and that one time when I went in the women's restroom at Texas Stadium. That's the, those are the only things I remember before. It's kind of it's kind of funny because well, you don't remember anything before 2013. <laughs> I don't remember anything before, <laughs> during, and after 2013. <laughs> so it's. How do we know that there really even was a 2000? Oh, I'm not convinced there was. I'm not convinced. What I am convinced is uh, of is I I love the song Free Will and Free Will. there's there's lots of lyrics in it that oh, I'm man. reading right now, Ken. <laughs> I'm thinking because you don't know it. Well, yeah, so, this is not like we're doing a Billy Joel, which by the way, tune in for a Billy Joel podcast. All every <laughs> Billy Joel song. <laughs> every EBJS. All, all every. <laughs> all every. I, yes. Oh, okay. did the wheeze laugh? I did the wheeze laugh. So, Jay? Sorry. <laughs> putting you on the spot here, Jay, as I twirl my pen, waiting to point it at you. Yeah. Uh, you voted for Free Will. This is your nomination for one of the first mm-hmm. three songs to cover, Jay. How does Free Will make you feel as a person? Makes me feel like a natural person who likes the song. Basically, <laughs> what I get out of this song is, uh, you know, God gave us free will. We can choose to believe in him. We can choose to believe what we want to believe in science and poetry. Or we can believe we can choose not to decide. If we choose not to decide, we still have made a choice, which is my favorite lyric from that album song, by the way. And uh, so that's all I got to say about that. Thanks, Forrest. (laughs) Yes. Wow. Wow. Um, you know, it's funny. I saw in a group someone was talking about um, hemispheres and how great hemispheres was, and how it represented Neil's growing out of his fascination with and with Ayn Rand. And I'm like, have you ever heard every other album they recorded after that? Because <laughs> I, it's one of the things I like about their songs is his emphasis on the importance and the sovereignty of the individual. And that's one of the things I like about free will. I don't think it's just an, an anthem for atheists. I think it's an anthem for individuality. I'm noticing that in a lot of uh, Neil's lyric. Uh, well, uh, the focus on the individual and the not conforming to 
other people's beliefs just because we want to fit in and all that kind of stuff. I was looking for a lot of, I was trying to find rush quotes about a rush lyrics, which is, you know, Neil lyrics about travel for, uh, because I was going to use that as promotions from for my other podcasts. What's your other podcast? podcast right? uh, I have two podcasts. One called Beer Thursday that I believe both of you are pretty familiar with. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Been on it. You're on it, and you, oh, also I'm a co-host. But well, yeah, 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 you're a co-host, and Tim's been on it several a, times. He's a frequent flyer. He is a frequent flyer. And speaking of flying, my other podcast, All Things Travel, where we discuss. You all guessed rush all songs. Songs. It, it is <laughs> it's as cleverly named yeah. as ever every rush song because we discuss yes, all things travel. I am the king of obvious names. That's why my nick no, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna give myself another nickname. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you gotta stop giving yourself nicknames, yeah, man. Yeah. So uh, I but I, so I found I, a lot I, of lyrics. I found a lot of quotes from Neil where he was and we're, we're, he even said as much that he was a libertarian, but a, a kinder, a more a libertarian who thinks more about helping others. And so I think that comes out a lot in all of his all of his lyrics. Yeah, consistently throughout his career. Sorry, back to you, Tim. Well, sports. what I was going to say was, he did, to me, he did something, and I know he did not do it on purpose because he wasn't a believer. But in his lyric, you know, you can choose to decide in some celestial voice. If you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice telling you you've got your free will. You've got the right to choose. It shuts up the people who say, um, well, I'm not going to choose that. Well, you just made a choice by saying that. So shut your mouth. But what Neil did was when you're talking about the one true god he proved his existence in the lyric that a true a true god gives his creation the freedom to choose your hollywood movie gods are the ones that make you bow down to worship make you do this make you do that to earn your way to to try to be in the presence of that god i am a kind god steve <laughs> xerxes right. is my favorite i mean to your point so, what is what good is creating life if you're only creating to to do what i do and say what i say and believe what i believe exactly because mm. because then didn't expect here, that out of you two <laughs> the, the one the one true god could have created us blah 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 and had us look if he created everything he would be able to put all of us on little strings and be walking us around like puppets yeah. not giving us the freedom to think for ourselves the freedom to choose and and guess what we would have never have known that's what was going on mm -hmm. so so neil didn't know what he was doing but he did it so thank you <laughs> but look that's that, that's a it's a powerful song and not only is it powerful lyrically but for crying out loud that guitar solo uh, i mean the the i mean that's just eddie van halen no it's it's alice well, alex life's and i know who it is. <laughs> yeah. sorry tim we were this I'm is not, every I'm rush song computer. yeah but if you want to but, tune in for our other <laughs> podcast but, but every <laughs> eddie song van halen when you eddie. listen to the greatness that was eddie van halen and yes, he is okay. that guitar apart he's on okay. his guitar he's solo. Okay. Okay. But did you really get the same kind of ripping apart plus pure tightness and groove between Alex Van Halen and Michael Anthony, the rhythm section? No, it was all set up for for uh, Eddie to be, you know, it's the lead guitar, put it out there. So here you go, lead guitar solo. And you've got the bassist and the drummer 
just ripping it as well. Getty throwing out some solo licks. Now, Neil, not so much solo, but my goodness, that, that, that drum part, um, it makes me, when I get done trying to play it, and I do not play it, and I don't think I've ever played it rhythm for rhythm perfect, but it makes me want to go get a hacksaw and, and saw off both of my arms. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. positive and, and uplifting. Yeah. Well, it just I feels like it would too. feel better. Oh, that's true. <laughs> you know, I could see it being a little. Um, if you get rid of it, it, it may be a little bit intimidating. Right. Oh. Would... <laughs> oh <golly>. I... <laughs> you know what? We're not afraid to throw out a pun or two here on every Rush song. That's right. We, we will do right. some dad jokes. We will. And some Number bad one, jokes. Each of us. A cell of awareness, uh, imperfect uh, and complete. I'm just gonna gaze up at the ceiling while you because mm. those are so yeah. just just so brilliant. It blew my mind away. So bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's so many lyrical nuggets in it. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking about the solo. I want to get the solo. So here's Shane talking about mythology again. A lot of creation myths are are about creating order from chaos right and so you have this song that kind of about religion and so what what resonates with me in the in that solo part is it kind of if you listen to it closely which i'm sure you have it'll seem like there's kind of eight minutes of just all three of them eight minutes i'm sorry eight counts where the three of them are just all so they're still together somehow but just all over the place doing something completely different right and then they'll have a few counts where they're more together and then, right. then they'll have a few counts of just chaos and then back yeah. to eight counts of order and then when at the end of the solo section it's just like this big massive just total chaos into that kind of da 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 into that run da, da, that da, goes da. into the right. Uh, and it's so just when they when they bring it back down from the guitar solo oh, or the wow. or the total jam, all creation then is shouting out its applause on just the basic da 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 You know, just, I mean, yeah. the ground could open up and just swallow the earth. Right, you know, right. would be impossible, but. I, yes. I, allude, I alluded earlier to the missing factor in the the whole uh, the, uh, the the Taylor Hawkins tribute uh, about how you know it just wasn't the same without Neil, which is true. But what it is about Rush that makes them so great is how, like we're sort of talking about now, how tight they are. They can go different places for seven measures or not beats or whatever uh like you said shane i wasn't listening uh but <laughs> it may not have even been four four time <laughs> but yeah and it may they, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly convinced that they invented new time signatures but you know that's just me but they are so tight that's that's what's missing like when you hear them i mean getty and alex are still they're 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 one brain but that you know they're missing a quarter, uh, a third of their brain uh, because they were just so tight. They were just one. The, the the three, the three musicians made one, one instrument. And yeah. That instrument was Rush. Man, boy, what what that is like a tagline or a, I kind of feel like I, I'm. A, I need uh, to use that. I need to, to mark wow. that and use that I feel somewhere. Like all three of us are sort of like hovering up in the clouds right now <laughs> <laughs> all right so i don't want to totally fanboy Ooh. this so i will say that sometimes in a song you know it's better to have kind of opposing parts and one of the things about free will is that the the bass and the guitar and the lyric are all the same without any counter melody to it and yeah, it's right. In most songs, it, it it works better in this song, but it might have been interesting if if say Alex was doing something else while the bass and and 
the vocal da, or da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah and it's not the entire song like i like that da, 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 part on the on the chorus but just to kind of bring it back down from the complete worship that we were doing okay now we can go back to worshiping well actually i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna kind of uh, offshoot from that non-worshiping part because there's there's a lyric and i'm i'm doing this off the top of my head tim i'm not even reading it um, close your eyes the lyric is Wait, uh, uh, <laughs> there are those who think <laughs> that they are, were dealt a losing hand the cards were stacked against them they weren't born in lotus land i need to know this what in the hell is lotus <laughs> land <laughs> is it just oh it's it rhymes so i'm gonna use it is that i mean i don't, I don't that one i don't understand <laughs> Uh, they're, they're thinking that you don't know either, do you? No. Well, okay. So go back to, <laughs> uh, go back to this, I guess the second verse. Okay. Uh, plan to play things, dance on the strings, probably cannot perceive the stars aren't aligned or the gods are malign. Like the, you know, the stars don't line up or the gods are pissed at or pissed at us for something and they're punishing us. Blame is better to give than receive. And that's the one thing that the one issue I have with a lot of organized religion is that they'll, they'll blame, they'll, it seems like they'll blame things on God, right? Or, you know, like something will happen and they'll say, well, it's just meant to be, or it's God's plan. And that's kind of what he's talking about there. And it's, it's not that, well, no, actually this person drank like a fish for 30 years or, yeah. you know, they ate beef and sugar all the time. That's probably what led to them getting sick. Not that, you know, not God didn't have a design for them. It's just that they, so and, and it's possible, you know, I mean, that there, there can be those, this might be a little bit, a little more of the Ayn Rand coming out where, because it, it's possible that someone could have some bad luck, some ill health, and it, even though they did everything right, they could still have issues or troubles. But um, he says those that think they're dealt a losing hand, the cards are stacked against them. So he, the, there's the, those that always are like, like it's fate or they was predetermined that their lives are going to suck for some reason. Well, uh, people they the weren't born opinion. in Lotus Land, so like Lotus, right. so like Lo a, Lotus Land is sort of like like a paradise, uh, or uh, uh, well, if, yeah, a, a place. Uh, probably you might think of hippies, just this carefree. Everybody's just going about their business, and you know, nothing bad is going to happen there in Lotus Land. Um, it sounds like Christmas Land. <laughs> well, it would be more like, um, it would be, yeah, it would be heaven on earth. Okay. So, yeah, so this kind of like, we where, weren't lucky where, enough to be there. Our lives suck because we were dealt. Right. Yeah. So can you get a, can you get the season pass to Lotus land or does it's it extremely only, expensive. only if you live in the state, only uh, if you live in Florida. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's right. in Florida. Yeah. Okay. Right now. Yeah. They haven't, they haven't opened up annual passes yet. Well, see, I, I understand. I understand the part about the, White the, the, the people that are pessimistic about life and believing that no matter what happens, you know, the world's against me, you know, and, and, and up oh, there goes, you know, just to, just my luck, you know, bad things always happen to me. I just didn't understand what Lotus land was. Oh uh, yeah. I, I think it's, Right, because they they weren't lucky enough to be born in okay. Heaven, so it's like in a palace in the good neighborhoods or in the good right. countries. And, okay, and I, I admit okay. something. Yeah, and what's that? That when I was young, uh, so Permanent Waves would have been the very first. I didn't hear the whole album, but my next door neighbor had it, so I heard. I remember hearing Spirit Shout of Radio John Mitchell. and Free Will. So when when it when it came out and but for years after that i always thought he said locust land <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be terrible like locusts everywhere right i know so oh but, man what is, what it seems like the people that were dealt a losing hand would have been born in locust land right exactly <laughs> now, jay do you want would you like for me to see if i can get you season passes to locust land no i'm i'm good okay, i'm good okay, okay. yeah Just yeah thanks for happen. asking though. i appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how much we would want to dissect these lyrics. I mean, we could we could spend a whole episode just on the lyrics. Yeah. Right. But I think we'd mentioned in the 
but we, but, Witch hunt but, but we're talking about Neil Peart. We're going to do that on every single track. Yeah. You know, oh. yeah. Maybe. Uh, yeah. What the about dude was this out of the way. The he dude was hyper intelligent. He right. was so, and in the way he writes, and like in his, you know, the we were discussing, we we're talking about his book, uh, Ghost Rider, one of few books he wrote, and he he sets a picture. He's just such a a, a great writer. So now he's writing in a in a uh, it's it's what's the word for it? I mean, not good with words. Uh, it's uh, uh, a pen? metaphorical sort of writing uh poetry poet poetic yes metaphorical um uh, he's he's he, he's using he's putting words together and there with and, the, and there's there's punctuations and question marks <laughs> you know what there's English not speech. enough is there are there enough exclamation marks i don't think there's, there's i don't think there's enough exclamation marks, marks. I, think we need more of those. I think we need more of them absolutely so what was your well, favorite line, Jay, from the song? Well, I'll, always, I, I just always go back to that. Uh, I will choose. No, not that's that one. Um, you can choose uh, not to decide. You still have made a choice. Or if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Basically, I choose a path that's clear. I will choose free will. I, I don't know. I, I like the song. I, I, I would love to try to break down each lyric each line but i don't have the intelligence <laughs> i'm not smart uh, enough put up air quotes yes i like <laughs> to do air quotes when people can't see for all of our audible viewers yes <laughs> <laughs> you know what this podcast will be or it is on audible too i'll make sure of that excellent for all the my audible friends out plug. there what you heard me i said that was a shameless plug a shameless, a shameless plug, plug. <laughs> i like that that I was a little bit that, intimidating <laughs> <laughs> all right that's enough well and then say so he does have a bunch of lines about this is what people think this is what people think this is why you're all wrong and misled and misguided and then he has what one of my favorite lines favorite enough that i mentioned it in witch hunt which is the i guess the last verse which each of us a cell of awareness just that insignificant we're just cells we're aware but just cells imperfect and incomplete and then genetic blends with uncertain ends that's just and a I mean, fortune hunt that's far too fleet does that does that sum us up any better than that i mean we all think we're so important that life is so important and we we brag about over or brag we argue about you know which lives matter which lives don't matter and all and all that and to me it's kind of like an incredibles thing if, if everyone's special nobody is it's like well yeah all lives matter because none of them do we're just genetic blends with uncertain ends we're just what, what's the 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 meat lockers or meat coats what is that? i can't remember what that's from but we're just me, yeah 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 i mean i mean in the, in the in the big picture in the grand scheme of the universe we're not even we're not even the size of a speck of sand i mean we're 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 in the we're insignificant yet we are extremely significant Ooh. Are we are we kind of oh. I think there's a little bit of that in uh natural is it natural science, right? Is that the one I'm thinking of? I don't know. Perhaps we, we should just discuss that, that in another day, round day. of oh, sorry. complex. <laughs> dangerous territory you're going into there, Jay. Uh, dangerous sorry. Dangerous territory. We should discuss that uh, in our Star Wars podcast. All <laughs> things Star Wars. <laughs> I would like to do a Jedi podcast. Just like a, I'm like doing if, one right now. Wait. Like if Jedi was a religion, you know, like like apply it towards because it's it's very Buddhist, I think, which technically isn't a religion, but they chose not to decide, so they still have made a choice. Oh, now I'm full circle, full Hang circle. Ancient oh. religions and the hokey. Wait, what was the line? <laughs> no match oh, for a uh, blaster. <laughs> Ancient religions and ho hokey weapons. 
pokey something or no match for a blaster yeah. kid. Yeah. But yeah. as we get older, we all realize that it's it's true. All of it. <laughs> Wait. The force, the Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yes. All of it. Yes. Meat puppets. Meat puppets. <laughs> Meat mm. jackets. Meat something. We're all state. Meat suits. Meat. meat suits. That's what it is. It's meat suits. It's meat, meat suits. Or meat I was gonna, suits. My next thing was going to be meat cute, but that's probably not it. Meet you anywhere. <laughs> no it's thanks. restaurant in Grapevine. Oh. Pretty good barbecue. Is meet it? You anywhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pretty good barbecue. Well, wow. hell. That was, wow. this has been fun, Shane. Man. Does this make you like Rush more or you're like, oh my God. No, it actually does. It makes me want to go, like tonight, I want to I want to go back and listen to... Uh, really listen to the lyrics of free will kind of put on the old earbuds and kind of take a deep dive well good because at some point we will go back to permanent waves and cover the whole album i was not song. told there would be homework oh well have you read the fountainhead yet it's due next thursday have i read it have <laughs> i read it <laughs> can you can you rent it at a blockbuster <laughs> you can rent atlas shrugged at blockbuster <laughs> Ooh, just okay. be kind rewind amen all right well i'm I'm glad to, that you are enjoying rush and enjoying their music jay you know why why because we're going to have to discuss every, every rush, rush song thank you very kindly good night beautiful damn it